Welcome to the country where we do country things and on today's video we're going to start our antler updates for May. Now we're going to start out with Bo since he was the first one who shed his antlers this year. We'll move to spec, buckshot, and then at the end of the month we'll do big shot. So uh, let me get my stuff together, get down to the deer pens, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I'm going to give you a quick look at him. He's laying in his uh, favorite corner here. I think the tall grass behind him makes him feel like he's hiding or something. He's always laying in this corner just chewing his cud and chilling out here this afternoon. But I want to cut away from the video and show you the pictures of him that I have since the day that he shed up until what he's doing right now so you can get a real good perspective of how much he's actually grown uh, since he shed those antlers and especially how much he's grown in the last 30 days. So let me cut away from the video, show you those still shots. And then I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm gonna see if he'll just sit here and let me show you what he's got going on right now. And I wanna just kinda of point out a few things about where he's at and what it looks like he's gonna be doing. Now the, the spot on the front there on the left, you can see the little white spot. That is from the injury that we talked about the last time uh, where he had uh, actually uh, nicked his velvet and it was bleeding a little bit. Uh, it looks like it may potentially have some type of effect. Not really sure exactly yet, but we'll know more about uh, about what's going on with that uh, in the next uh, in the next month or so. But just lay down there, dude. So if you can tell, get back up a little bit. Here he has this bulge coming. He has this bulge coming out and coming down right here. So that may be from that injury. I'm really not sure. He's uh, he's definitely going to split this brow tine. If you can see there, he's going to split the brow tine there and there. His uh, G1s are starting to come out. If I can get him to turn. Right there's his G1 going to come up. G1 right here. Same way with the other side. Um, there's his G1 coming up right there. I know, dude. It's okay. I'm not bothering you. There's his G1 there coming up. This brow tine is kind of looks like it's almost a triangle. I'm not really sure exactly what's going on with it. It just looks like a big ball of mass right now. Uh, but, but it won't be long. We'll we'll definitely get a get a good idea of what that brow tine is actually going to do. It looks like it's going to be pretty massive there. Uh, this big ball of mass here, so that's what it looked like last year. It, it's going to line out and, and actually grow and, and, uh, start coming out into point. So he's pretty similar to what he was last year. There's a little bit of difference, uh, not a whole lot as I can see right now. Uh, but like I said, we'll know more in the next 30 days, but he's definitely come a long way since you guys seen him last. His uh, winter coat is almost completely gone. He's still got a little bit of that of that gray winter coat on there, but he's really starting to turn red now. He'll be he'll be completely red in the next 30 days or so, and looking all slicked off in, in his summer coat. So he's not happy. I'm over here bugging him. He's trying to trying to chill out for the evening. But anyway, there's a good look at him right now. What he's doing. We've got all the bucks yet coming up in May, so uh, you guys are going to be 
really surprised about how much growth the other bucks have done as well. Uh, we'll have spec coming up next week, so uh, we'll get a good uh, good look at uh, what has turned into uh, the the injury has turned into on him. You know, he had a, a pretty severe injury to his velvet, and uh, what that looks like now. So, anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching the video, and I'll be back. Okay guys, before we end this video today, I'm gonna show you uh, his year three set that I mounted up on an old skull that I found laying out in the woods. Uh, we never really tried to mount the sheds up or anything. So I thought it might be fun to kind of mount him up on this on this old skull and get, a, get an idea of what it looks like. So the angles aren't gonna be exactly right or anything like that, but you get a pretty good representation of what he was and what it looked like on his head. Uh, like, like I said, this is a, this is his year three set. So again, thanks for watching and I'll be back.